Hi, kids. How are you today? Are you ready to go on a magical adventure? Today, we're going to learn about the story of Cinderella. Let's meet a kind and brave girl named Cinderella. Once upon a time, in a faraway land, there was a sweet girl named Cinderella. Cinderella lived with her mean stepmother and his stepsisters. Cinderella was kind-hearted and loved to help others, but her stepmother and stepsisters were not very nice. They made Cinderella do all the work, like cleaning, cooking, and taking care of the house. never complained. She always had a smile on her face, even though they treated her badly. One day, a royal messenger came to their house with a special letter. The king was throwing a big ball at the palace, and every young lady in the kingdom was invited, including Cinderella. Get ready. The stepmother says, Cinderella, you can't go to the ball. You don't have anything nice to wear. Stay home and keep working. Cinderella was very sad. She wanted to go to the ball, too, but she didn't have a beautiful dress or any shoes to wear. When Cinderella thought all hope was lost, something magical happened. A fairy godmother appeared. The fairy godmother waved her magic wand, and while Cinderella's old clothes turned into the most beautiful dress, and on her feet she wore sparkling glass slippers. Wait, how would Cinderella get to the ball? The fairy godmother wasn't finished yet. Now you have a carriage to take you to the ball. But remember, Cinderella, you must return before the clock strikes midnight, or the magic will wear off. Cinderella arrived at the royal ball, and everyone was amazed by her beauty including the prince. The prince couldn't take his eyes off Cinderella. He asked her to dance, and they danced all night long. But then, the clock struck midnight. Ding dong, ding dong. Cinderella had to run home before the magic disappeared. In her hurry, she left one of her glass slippers behind. The next day, the prince searched the kingdom for the girl who had left the slipper. He visited every house, looking for the foot that fit the glass slipper. Finally, Cinderella tried on the slipper, and it fit perfectly. The prince knew that she was the girl from the ball. The prince took Cinderella back to the palace, and they lived happily ever after. And that's the story of Cinderella. Remember, kids, kindness and courage always shine through, just like Cinderella. Thanks for watching, and see you next time for more magical stories.